Welcome to Mindful Drawing. I'm Robert, and I'll be your guide on this meditation practice centers a space of mindfulness through the act of drawing. This week, we're going to take a little walk, a meandering journey with the pen on the paper, a meandering journey of the mind through the twists and turns of our breath, twists and turns of our thoughts, engaging with a little tension, slow action, slow movement, even engaging with that tension of fine motor skills, breathing into it, releasing it, becoming okay with it, present with it, and then letting it open up, playful, move around, follow the breath, follow the action, see what we might find. You can bring a visual metaphor to mind, looking up through the canopy of the trees, seeing the light filter through that figure ground, the view of the leaves blocking the light, the view of the sun filtering through, tracking along those crenellated, crinkly edges with our eyes, with our mind, our imagination, tracking along them with our fingers and our hands, seeing what might emerge on the paper as we do so, a very gradual growth of territories, overlapping, bounding, wrapping, until we begin to maybe see something of that walking under the tree canopy or whatever else emerges there on the paper as you work through the exercise. The goal is not what we see, but the journey we take on the way there. To start that journey, I'm just using a piece of Bristol. Sketchbook works fine. Notebook paper, printer paper, anything you have to draw on. I'll start with a simple pen, felt tip pen, and I think later in the exercise, go ahead and move into maybe a little bit of pencil for shading just to give a break to the hand so it doesn't become too fatiguing. But whatever you want to draw with, go ahead and gather your supplies, establish your space, and let's draw together. This one will be a bit of a going for a walk and looking up, looking up through the trees, through a canopy. That's an inspiration, but it might uh, end up somewhere else. But also going for a walk with the pen or the pencil, just taking our time with the way it moves and meanders and wanders on the page. So idea quickly for a warm up, wherever that pen or pencil touches down, just start going in a direction and giving it a little bit of wobble, little meander, not a strong straight curve, more of a light variegated edge. We'll track along that edge like a coastline, like the outline of leaves with the light or the sun behind them. Forming space of the figure in and beyond. But our meditation will go in more on the way we're moving. That pen or pencil, keeping attention to that tip moving around. And having a little bit of fun playing with it as it goes on that walk. We'll get some small things such as that. The larger exercise will also explore the many journeys, so some may make holes next to each other, or perhaps layer and work out to the edges, into the center. Things that can all happen as we look up through the trees on a walk in the park. Some passages straight to the sky, some views just to another layer of the scattered leaves overhanging behind. So you can get these kind of maps, boundaries, edges, territories moving along through. But other than that, just moving the pen on a little bit of a path. So you can keep working a little on the scrap or the warm up to get the hands ready. Or you just give them some nice movement and wiggle, make sure all the fingers are Kind of articulating, warmed up a little to there, get some fluid flowing through the joints, blood into the hands and fingers. You can let them rest for a moment, creating that same figure ground connection with the paper, 
blocking out some of it, occluding where we see the fresh sheet or page. You know, letting the eyes go a little bit soft, a little out of focus, just to see that outline, the edge, as you move the hands lightly, feeling some of the paper, feeling the subtle movements in the joints and the muscles of the fingers, feeling out your posture and position to the page, seeing if there's any places of reaching or bunching and trying to maneuver a little bit, if you can, your position or the context, your material, to somewhere in the middle. You have a good light range of motion, feel comfortable for 20 minutes or so. As you make those adjustments, preparing presence in your space, take a few refreshing breaths. Just in and out, whether that's deep and filling or just light and aware, up to you, whatever becomes refreshing. Even trying out a few different ones to see where the state is at the moment. After the next cycle of that replenishing with the breath, pick up your pen or pencil and prepare to begin the first journey. I'm going to work in from the edge and slowly form around some place inside the center of the page. And that pen or pencil comes down, makes contact, and with that contact, emotion, letting it start to wander and move in a general direction. If the imagery and metaphor of looking up through the leaves and branches serves in your imagination, it might move in a slightly round motion. The tree is generally kind of round as the water and the sunlight generally work out to that. But depending on where we're standing and where we're looking, that may change. Whatever journey that pen or pencil starts to take is one you'll follow along with. Right now, only light guidance as you feel out. How do I wobble? How do I turn direction? How quickly do I move? Mostly observing, letting the hand do a lot of the work. Letting the eyes follow. Becoming comfortable with a speed of action across the territory. Going very slow for a little bit. Going a little faster for a little bit. We'll use these first several segments of shape to find our pacing in that. So if you go in from one edge to the other, or go around, we just begin again, connecting and layering on top. When you start your next path, whenever that may be for your drawing, bring to it a little more attention to the action. This one, try to move at an even pace, whether that's quick or slow, doesn't matter, but even. Getting the mind in there with the hand. Feeling out the motion Letting it become part of the body, not part of the mind or desire. An unthinking motion with just our awareness to that evenness, not reaching out or slowing down, but moving at our pace. From time to time, we may notice that it speeds up or stalls. And we just gently 
Let it come back into consistency. The distance traveled, mediated more by the twists and turns, the wandering in and out away from the curve with a general shape, less by getting there or covering space on the page. There's a lot of empty territory here to work with. Plenty of time to move that pen or pencil. Just letting it wander around the even pace, both present and becoming part of our environment, part of the background, drifting of contexts. an exercise for the mind and the hand. Noticing as it may become work, keeping that lightness of pacing, keeping that connection so close and small between the tip of the pen, the paper, the micro movements of the hand. It may build a little bit of tension. And if you begin to feel that, so our breath can come into play, whatever becomes significant or overwhelming to the mind, just move at a different pace, take a short break, change location, change action. But sticking with it for a little while in that space of tension we breathe into it. Let the passage of air over our nostrils take a sensation away from our awareness of the hand for a moment. The expansion and contraction of the rib cage, another thing the mind can follow, can ease the tension into the release, the exhalation that breathes tension out, the pathway to reset. Using the time of the exercise to build some resilience, some methods for being with a little place of potential discomfort. Being present in the slowness of things. Finding the rhythm of the own body. With the action so tightly tied to that tip of the hand, tip of the fingers, tip of the pen. You may even be able to lightly close the eyes. Or let them drift around. Occasionally returning to guide or keep within the boundaries of the paper. Letting that even meandering pace just on the edge of completion, just on the edge of going somewhere. become the medium for exercising our mindful attention to our presence in space. Does the slower 
more even engagement with action open the mind to thoughts or close it down keeping focus on that place that ever present control of the pen I find the wiggling back and forth oscillates between the feeling of control where will I wiggle next and a feeling of release just let the fingers walk move around track along an edge that isn't there formed only after the action left as a trace of something unknown But after you complete the next current journey, let the breath open up a little bit. Maybe let the speed or density of the drawing open up a little bit. Just keeping enough presence to the action to complete the final meandering at this even pace not to rush keep breathing into it but as you come to completion of that line Maybe a good time to take a slight break from the motion, from the action, just to be present with what's filled out the map, the territory of the page, seeing something in that bumpy wrapping edge, the overlaps and connections. We'll move into occupying some of those spaces the large blocky territories and little punctures little mm -hmm. internal islands of passage for light for vision with these smaller boundaries a little bit more quickness can come into play or lightness to the movement it starts to feel right what we'll do is use our breath as a starting point and a guide along the way so breathing in to observe the whole space and territory and if you feel ready somewhere inside or outside whichever that may be breathing in to get the pen into a voice starting another journey on the exhalation but letting the hand move at a comfortable pace Letting it change speeds, play, wander fast and slow, and make a small little island version of the larger things. The places where the branches separate, we'll do many of them, and before each one, filling out the lungs with a lot of space and air, finding place, and beginning the journey on the exhalation. Breathing normally as you work around that small place. The first breath starting position, the following supporting that local action. Breathing in to fill out, bind, and engage with the exhalation. The larger, more deliberate breaths, changing the position of the body, perhaps changing the posture, or resetting, lifting out of position and a return. 
entering into that moment. To play with speed, to maybe move a little bit beyond the fingertips, to let action move from the fine and micro motor skills into the torso, the arm, the shoulders. A slight rocking, a slight side to side, even tracking along the crinkles of the edge a little bit with the body. Something that brings a little bit more fluidity to balance that tight focus into the hand of the small movements. You may begin to let the pen or pencil drift further out from your fingertips, a little extension to its length. Changing the feel of the motion, gaining maybe some of the wobble from the instrument itself, less from the hand. If you can, hold a little lighter. Let the fingers grip with lightness of that breath and exhalation in to be balanced. Exhaling to move and find motion. In the space of that motion to open up the breath. Into just a relaxing, even pace. It can continue to guide location, placement. Or perhaps fall back as you feel relaxed into it. And just be an even filling, replenishing, moving and marking. Getting to the stroll portion of the walk. Everything's kind of working together. It's on even flat ground. We have time to look around. Time to let that pen or pencil wander. Explore the space inside or outside of the converging territories. Delineating where material may be or sky or emptiness beyond takes shape. The walk's not too hard. The breath is even. The air is refreshing. But our body and mind are engaged. We feel the connection to each action, motion, engaging with the material, whether the imagination of the walking scenario or the reality of the pen and the paper. Each can be a guide in opening up all the senses to all the presence of the moment of engagement. And you continue to mark out and walk around these territories with that nice stroll taking place. Or maybe you have a pencil nearby and feel like a change of action, bringing it in to do some light 
shading or thickening of the edges, bringing a difference of medium in, into the space of the paper, a difference of motion of the hand or arm, just to relax it, it would take five minutes or so to draw, play within the space there on the paper. Like any good meandering walk, we may not really get anywhere, but go quite a bit of places, moving through the world, seeing what's around, in the end returning back towards where we started, or maybe on a special type of walk. Just going on to the next place. I like the drawing. It doesn't have to get anywhere. It doesn't have to become complete. A place to meander. A place to move through. To move with the breath. With the hand. With the medium and the tool. A place to be and observe, to watch, listen, feel that connection between the body, the mind, the expression on the page. So as you feel ready, you can let the motion begin to wind down, finding a good place to let things come to a rest. Finding a place to sit for a moment, to take a breath. And notice the atmosphere and the environment around you. To let what has enveloped you during the exercise become part of your presence and awareness. As you move back into that space, to fill out a little bit, to look around, and to come back into your whole body, wiggle the toes a bit, wiggle the side a little bit, let the whole body play and meander as it goes a little walk back into awareness, and return to yourself and your space for whatever comes next in your day. It can be so important these days to take that break, that time to just wander everything now calling for our attention. Even here to go to the calendar, to click on the link, to start the recording. Bombarded by authentication, two factor here, another factor there, opening up one device to communicate with another, attention pulled this way and that, every interface needing our refocusing, refocusing. We can take the walk, the time on the paper, the meandering little journey to unfocus, to use that constrained territory, one thing, a pen or pencil, one medium, the piece of paper, one self, one action, engagement, and expression. And there's many ways to find that in life, through meditation, through taking a walk, through noticing the canopy, noticing the space between buildings and the skyline, noticing the interesting cracks in the sidewalk, taking the time to be only one. There's a lot out there, and we are just in it, a part of it, like the drawing, expressing 
our presence in that world. If you enjoyed the exercise, please uh, let me know below in the comments what you found in your engagement with it. And go ahead and give it a like if you enjoyed the exercise and consider subscribing for new mindful drawing practices every Wednesday here on YouTube. Have a wonderful rest of your day or evening and draw well. Thank you.